Hey y'all, welcome back to another easy recipe. Today we're making a very soft cinnamon and sugar pretzel. This will become your family's favorite quarantine snack. Okay, if you want to see it, keep on watching. Like the video for me if you enjoy it. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, to make the dough, here's what you need. You will need unsalted butter, melted. You will need salt. Also, I'm using a thermometer. Now you can skip that step if you're pro. Um, you don't really have to use it. You just need the temperature for the melt to be at least 130 degrees. Now I'm using all purpose flour with brown sugar. And of course, the yeast we'll be using with whole milk, okay? We're going to get started. I'm adding the sugar in just now, and then we're going to pour the milk. Now we're going to add our warm milk in with the sugar, give it a mix. Um, I do have the thermometer to make sure I have the milk to the temperature that I need it to be. And then we're going to add our melted butter in. Once that is well combined, we're going to add in the yeast, okay, just like so. And then we're going to stir it all together for, I'll say, a minute. And then we're going to add our um, dry ingredients. I'm adding the salt into the flour, give it a quick mix, and we're going to add the flour in gradually into our milk until we form our dough. We're going to make a nice soft dough. Even though it's a little too wet, it's fine. Don't do anything. Now you can use your hand if you want to because I have a hand mixer. I just went ahead and use it, but it's not really optional. All right. Now, once I am done, I am going to remove the dough and place it in a different bowl, a greasy bowl, so it doesn't stick on there. Left it there for about four hours, maybe less, I'm not sure. And then after four hours, this is what you have. The dough should be twice as big. And what you're going to do is add the dough to a, a floured surface, and then we're going to knead the dough. All right, for a few, I'll say three, four, five minutes, and then we're going to form our pretzel. And if you're new here, you have not subscribed, hey, make sure you subscribe to Island Vibe Cooking. I do upload videos here, and I'm sure you love them if you like this video. All right, now moving on, I'm using a rolling pin to make sure I roll the dough and form the size that I want. Now, one thing I will suggest is not to make them as big as as mine because mine were really big. So you can cut yours in half if you want, like this size, and then cut it in the middle just to make sure it's a little smaller. But yeah, and once they're done, I have this um, sugar here that I am going to add cinnamon into it, mix it together just like so. And also I have some melted butter with brown sugar in it with also some cinnamon. Now the brown sugar is optional in the butter if you want, but I did add the brown sugar. I want it to be sweet. <laughs> so um, we're going to slightly um, brush the butter onto our dough, or you can just roll the butter onto the dough and then take your buttered dough and place it into the cinnamon and sugar mix. Now this is what I was talking about. You can take the dough and just place it into the butter, then place it into the cinnamon and sugar mix, okay? Just like so. And then we're going to place it into our baking dish. We're going to bake this for uh, 15 to 20 minutes on 350. Once it is done, you should have a nice golden soft 
pretzel okay this is the softest breast pretzel ever and i'll give you that auntie ann if you're a big fan of their pretzel i know i am this is the closest you'll get to it because this right here is so good and so fluffy it's like mmm so good you can see how soft that is oh my gosh it's very soft it turns out really really good try it and let me know how you guys like it this is it hopefully you enjoy it be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so right now hit the like button and also do not forget to wash your hands stay home and stay healthy bye yum